Hello, everyone. Greetings, greetings. Oh, my God. Okay. I know y'all haven't heard me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Heard from me. It is Intentional Talks with T-Love. Be intentional. Okay. Let me get started. First of all, fasting went so wrong. I just could not pull myself together. I don't know what it was. I did that. I got to that third day and it just all shot to hell from there. I don't know what to say. I can't even make anything up, you guys. I just could not pull it together. So I switched to OMAD and I started doing OMAD. And I have just been doing OMAD ever since then. I plan on starting a fast on Sunday because I'm headed out of town next Thursday. So I, my plan is to fast. Uh oh, hold on one second. Sorry about that, guys. My plan is to fast next. Well, not next, but um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Yes. So that will be, let me give you the dates so that I can be sure. That will be, will be in April, guys. Happy April. Let's see, because Friday will be April the 1st and Sunday will be the 3rd. So the, April the 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th, uh, 2022. I'm going to do a four day fast. <laughs> And then um, the following week, I'm going to start over with um, doing uh, alternate day fasting. I'm going to do my alternate day fasting. I'm going to fast all the way up until vacation. And then, you know, hey, it's vacation. So I don't plan on doing any fasting. I'm not going to be over the top, but who fasts on vacation? It's vacation. Anyway, I have missed you guys. Um, so let me tell you what's been going on. I did during the break. I did a uh, tour college tour with my daughter. She is a junior. She'll be a senior next year. So we went down to fam. You go Rattlers. She wants to be a Rattler. She fell in love with fam. You um, Tallahassee is absolutely beautiful. I fell in love with Tallahassee. I love Florida. I want to move to Florida. Like, no doubt. Like, as soon as my youngest child graduates high school, I plan on being out of here. Deuces to Georgia. I'm sick of Georgia. Sick of the piling. I've been here since I was six years old. It's time to exit left. <laughs> Anyway, guys, what else do I need to tell you? Okay, um, I register for a class. I, I register for actually two classes that I'm going to take this month. I register for a medicinal plant class. It's like we're going to do a medicinal walk. It's called a medicinal plant walk. And uh, we're going to go with the herbalist. And she's going to tell us about all these herbs and plants and you know making medicinal tinctures and stuff like that because that is one of my ultimate goals becoming an herbalist guys i got so many things i want to do i got so many plans and i plan on vlogging it all i plan on growing this channel for whoever is listening whoever is on the same journey whoever needs an extra push whoever just has bigger goals for themselves that's it. That's all. So that is one of my goals to become an herbalist. Um, I love herbs. I drink herbal tea every morning. First thing I do is drink herbal tea. As a matter of fact, I'm drinking now. I have my cup. Remember, I showed you my other mug. You can't see it, but it says aim for the stars. I love coffee mugs. I love coffee mugs. And I'm actually drinking some pine tea. I read some stuff on pine tea and pine tea is supposed to be very, very good for you as you know what, since we're talking, let me look up a couple of benefits for you just in case someone would be interested in trying some. 
So let's see. The biggest thing that it does is it improves your red cell production. It also can be used as an ex expectorant for coughs. It helps relieve cough congestion. It is good for your eyesight. It's also good for sore throats. Anything that has to do with herbs, any kind of herbal, anything is so good for you. Um, so I'm using it. I'm using it for the red cell production. And now that I know it's good for eyesight, I'm probably going to be drinking it every morning. But I ordered it um, and it actually tastes good because when I drink my herbal tea, I never add any kind of agave, stevia, sugar. I drink it plain. It's so tasty. Like it really tastes good. Like it doesn't taste bad. Now. If you're not used to drinking herbal tea, then it probably is not going to be good to you. Um, it's probably going to be disgusting. But the more you drink it and the more you get away from drinking a lot of sweet stuff, I'm telling you, your palate will appreciate it. Like you can just really taste the flavors. Flavors. Herbal tea is really, really good, guys. You need to try it. Just grab you some. They have so many different kinds. Um, you can get them in different flavors as well. Pomegranate, that's one of my favorite. Uh, lemon, lemon ginger. It's a whole array of different kind of herbal teas that you can try. So make sure you try you some herbal tea. Um, excuse me. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm doing that class. I registered for a beginner's yoga class. Yes, I am going to, I've been wanting to do yoga for a while. I want to try Pilates too. Um, but I'm going to start with yoga. I may try Pilates. I know I told a, girl, a girlfriend of mine about Pilates. She was like, honey, you can have that. I'm not interested in Pilates. I'll do some yoga. But I did register for a yoga class. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. And that's all going to be this month. The actual medicinal plant class is going to be next Sunday. So when I get back that morning is when that class is. And then closer to, I think it's like the 24th, I believe is the yoga class. So that'd be my first ever yoga class. And I'm so excited about that. Um, like I said, I have some plans. I got some big things coming up that I'm interested in doing, um, things that I'm interested in pursuing. So I'm on track, you know, to pursuing my goals, you know, um, it doesn't have to come overnight as long as it comes and as long as you stay manifesting um, the things that you want for your life and being positive and being a positive person and being a good person and speaking life into others as well as speaking life into yourself. So I'm trying to think anything else that I need to update you guys on. Um, I think that's it. I just basically want to come on here and tell you guys how I screwed up last week. That's why I fell off. Yeah, that's why you didn't hear from me after day three, because I just could not pull it together. But I did switch to OMAD. Oh, for you guys who are new to the channel or who have never heard of OMAD, all OMAD is, is one meal a day. So say, for instance, if you've heard of intermittent fasting, some people intermittent fast, um, they do 24, 8, 16, yada, yada. Normally, when I used to intermittent fast, I would go 20 hours, no food, and then I would have a four hour window when I would eat. So... And that's kind of basically what I've been doing, because what I would do is last week, what I was doing um, once I switched over to OMAD was uh, fasting all the way till four. And I would eat in between the window of four and eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, four hour window, because you not, you shouldn't be eating anything after eight o'clock anyway, really, guys. That's late. Don't eat that late. Then you get this. What I'm trying to get rid of. See that? Just follow me. You'll see. It's, it's going to come off. Once I get determined, I make things happen. When, when, when I, I, I get focused and I decide, truly decide enough is enough, that's when I get focused. Um, 
I had, was doing so well. I had gone originally, like when I originally started, there has to be maybe five years ago. I was like 188. And then I went down to like um, 166. So I stayed there for a long time. And then this last go round, probably like back August when I started, I got all the way down to 138. So 140 is good for me. I was cool with that. Like 140, maybe 145. I'm five, six for me personally. I just don't want to be over, over that. I'm fine with that. Uh, I, I'm good. I, I'm, I don't have, I got a regular body, four kids. I don't, you know, got a little couple stretch marks. I don't have fake boobies, fake butt, whatever. For whoever has that, it's all good. That's on them. I'm just trying to do things the natural way for me. And um, incorporating fasting, alternate day fasting, intermittent fasting, doing a little bit of OMAD, eating healthier, not eating late at night. You know, while I'm on vacation, I probably will have pizza and ice cream and all that stuff. I'm on vacation. That's what you do on vacation. Right. I'm not trying to cheat myself out of living life, but I am trying to make healthier decisions um, when it comes to my health. And when it comes to eating, rather. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to come on here because I was like, OK, it's been six days. Enough is enough. And I plan on stepping my game up. You know, I'm getting used to this YouTube thing. You know, I'm just beginning, you know, but the further along it goes, I'm going to step my game up. You're going to see maybe my background change. You see, I start putting a little picture. I got my niece and my son helping me with that. I'm going to start stepping my game up a little bit, learning how to do this YouTube thing. I'm, I'm not really um, sure how to do all that stuff, but it's, it's going to come a little bit by little bit. Hey, as you can see, I started posting a picture in the beginning now. <clears throat> when you see the video, now you see a picture. My niece, shout out to Janai. Janai, auntie loves you and Akil. They're hit, they helped me to like figure that out because I had no freaking idea. And I'm just like, how do people do that? But you know, these kids, they know how to do everything. This... <laughs> Times sure are different from when I was growing up, but it's all good. I need the help and 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 it's for, for the free free. So I'll take it. I'm trying to see, do I got some cold on my eye? I hope not. That's no. Oh, good. Anyway, so I'm going to be stepping it up. You know what I mean? Purchasing a little things, you know, but like I said, I'm going to give me a little background and might give me a little microphone or something. Hey, this is the beginning. <clears throat> I'm not trying to be a big celebrity and all that. Else. that that's not why I'm here. I'm just here to help others. That's my goal, to help others, um, you know, maybe have a better quality of life, um, maybe change some habits about themselves that they want to change. Um, you know, just different things. Teach people different things that I'm learning. Uh, it's each one teach one. So if I learn something, I just want to pay it forward. Just like I said about the pine needle tea. How many of you have heard about pine needle tea? It's all about giving back and paying it forward to help and assist the universe, the planet, the collective human beings. And and that's what I'm here for. That's it. That's all. But I'm be, still be me in the process and still be fun. And I'm still cuss uh, every now and then a little bit and say shit and stuff like that because I'm not going to change who I am. I'm going to be who I am. I, I, I can't do it any other way. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble. Be intentional in everything you do today. Be positive. Be kind. And everything that you put in the universe, I guarantee you will come back to you. Peace.